We are in 2024 and there is always new ways to do things over the years in the world of computing. In the last video, I showcased how to set up building environment using the Akin Haran script, which is a little bit outdated now. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the recommended way to set up building environment in 2024. For those who are wondering where I got this script from, it's from a friend named Chaco. He's a best friend of mine and thank him a lot for recommending this to us. So since we are in 2024, we are going to be using this and he didn't just recommend this to me. Let's begin setting up the environment and you will see the other way to do this. So here I have just started up with my virtual machine. So just pop up your terminal and then let's begin. Well, my friend Chaco recommended me this way and I give him credit again for being able to discover and recommend this to me. So let's just begin by copying the script he sent. But before that, he sent me a file, which I'll be putting in a telegram page and you have to go there to grab this file too. So in the telegram page, the file he recommended me is the repo. So to install this file, just right click and click on open in terminal and the Ubuntu tele, uh, terminal is going to open and then install it with the dpkg command. So sudo dpkg So all you have to run is the sudo dpkg i which the i stands for install and then the package you want to install. So I'm going to wait for this to finish and then I'll unpause the video. So the script completed with an error message saying this package is not installed. So let's just copy the package here by highlighting it first, then do control shift C and then do sudo apt So sudo apt install python3 and then the package name that follows. Now the package is finished installing. So what we have to do is to do sudo apt updates and sudo apt upgrade. I'm going to let this process run and I'll resume. So the updating and upgrading process is done. And also I notice it has installed a new version of a kernel for my system. So now that we are done with this, let's just go back and then run the sudo dpkg I install the repo again. And there we are. So the install process is done successfully without any errors now. So now that it is done, let's go ahead and copy the script that he sent to me and then let's paste it in. So I've copied it. Let me do control shift V and this is it. I'll leave this in the description and also I'll be leaving it on my uh, telegram. So just go to the description. you find a telegram link there. And then we are good to go. Also, this is talking about the new work and all that is installed. So you just have to click on enter or you can click on the space bar to proceed. Uh, this one is also asking you which service to restart. It all, uh, it's happens most of the time when you are using uh, SSH. Okay, so everything is done without any error. 
and I can assure you that this thing has installed new scripts and with this new uh, files that we have in our system uh, we are good to go we are good to build uh, our custom run without any errors actually if only there is no uh, errors in the device tree and uh, other things that are required to build a custom run so thanks to my friend Chaco for recommending me as this way not just me but as this way and also i'll leave a telegram link in the description where if you go to that link you get help when in case you are encountering an error that you can't uh, fix so i'll leave this link in the description so that you can join us then we can be able to support you there's more uh, links i'll be leaving in the future videos and thanks you uh, thanks to you for watching this is the end of this video and please subscribe and share it see you in the next one where we'll be learning about GitHub.